In today's video, we're going to be showing you one of the best ways to be able to attack cover three in Madden 24. And it is out of the play double post. You can find this play in the Colts or the Eagles offensive playbook. And if you want to get my entire uh, ebook on this, join the Patreon. We got a full offensive ebook out of the Colts playbook. I think it's probably the clear cut number one most popular playbook this year. We also have a ton of other different ebooks. If you don't like to run bunch, you want to run a little bit off meta stuff, we have a ton of different options over there. So if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below. Now the setup for this play is actually going to be really simple, but we're going to be able to attack cover three really, really well and potentially for a one play score. We're also going to be able to attack every other coverage that they could possibly put on the field. So make sure that you watch the entire video for the for how we're going to read through the progression. The only thing we're going to do for this setup is we're just going to streak the slot receiver. So as you see right here, I'm just going to streak the slot receiver. What you're going to see is when I have my bunch to the wide side of the field, it's going to cause this post route to split that uh, cover three and you are just going to basically be able to bomb it pretty much every single time. The cool part is it's not just the cover three that you're going to be able to bomb, and we're going to get to that in a minute. But I do want to show you one more time. Again, it's very simple against cover three. You're just going to wait. Once he crosses, the beauty of this is also why set feet lead is so powerful. You make one defender miss, and it's a touchdown pretty much every single time. Now, the other thing that you can do with this a lot of times is this is a great setup also for – cover four a lot of people right now in madden they're liking to baseline press their cover four this does a really good job if you wait on this post route it might actually not do a great job here uh, because it kind of got delayed and bumped but as long as he doesn't get bumped off of his route which is kind of more prevalent in my opinion in practice mode as long as he doesn't get bumped off his route a lot of times this guy will get over the top and he'll actually be able to burn cover four you see here we're just going to wait on it and at least get a big play if not a one play touchdown against cover four cover four is easily the most popular defense we're seeing right now online so this is a great route combo because what it's going to do is it's going to force the user to have to defend this now this also does a really good job of beating man-to-man -man coverage for example you have your tight end quick to the flats one of the more underrated routes in the game make sure you're taking your tight end flat against man coverage because a lot of times the man coverage is going to be out leveraged um, to try to guard this tight end flat Another route that you have is you have this running back, and that tight end will oftentimes block for you, um, and, and you'll be able to beat man coverage that way as well. So there's a couple things they're going to have to kind of lurk underneath, such as the tight end flat and the running back route, and then your double post uh, or your double post post route is actually pretty good against man coverage as well. It's a little bit inconsistent if they're playing uh, press man, but normally it's going to beat press man just like it would be a cover three, just like it would be to cover two it's going to beat it over the middle. So they're going to have to use her the post route against pretty much every coverage that they want to run. The last thing that I want to show you in terms of man coverage capabilities here is this backside C route. I think this is actually one of the most versatile routes in Madden 24 because you are going to see right here with set feet lead, there are some things you can do with this C route that you just can't do with any other route. One of the things is if you pass lead this to the outside, I'm not free forming it or anything. I'm just simply passing it to the outside when he cuts to the outside. And let's say he doesn't beat him. You can easily just aggressive catch it. If you have gift grab, a lot of times you're going to come down with that pass. Now, the other thing that's pretty common for people that run man coverage is they like to put an outside third on the solo wide receiver side. You see it will get him kind of a, a super press animation. But look at the C route. The C route is still able to beat that cover three defender even without a pull route on the field. Now, what about a regular cover three? So a regular cover three, what you're going to notice here is the, the um, curl flat defender will play this a little bit better. But by and large, this is one of the best, <coughs> excuse me, this is one of the best ways to attack cover three in the game. Now, if they run a cover three, you also are going to have your post route potentially for a one play score. So just keep that in mind. If they are running hard flats, that route is going to be open every single time. Now, I actually have deep out zone knockout on Tariq Woolen over there on the left-hand side, and you might have noticed that he didn't uh, get a light-up animation when I threw that C route. That's because that is going to be a mid-zone KO. It's not a deep out zone KO. So if they just have deep out zone KO, he's never going to light up. With gift wrap, this is an easy completion again and again and again. So I absolutely love this C route. I think it's one of the most versatile routes in the entire game. I think people are grossly underestimating how good this route actually is this year. And people aren't understanding that you could literally throw this 
even if you're playing a baseline press cover four with deep out zone KOs because of set feet lead and because of the possession catch. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to take your matting game to the next level, join the Patreon. The link to sign up is down in the description below.